Today we're doing a follow-up to Saturday's MSI Preble shenanigans video. Now I'm doing this video for a couple of reasons. The first one is the fact that I more narrowly identified the problem with this system, which will make it easier and cheaper for anybody who owns it to fix problems with it. And I also want to recommend a cheap upgrade that will make a huge gaming performance difference to it. And then the second reason is shipping delays. I couldn't get my hands on the thing I was initially going to do a video on today in time because of FedEx. Damn you, FedEx! But before we get into today's video, it's time for a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Exter and their new aluminium card holder wallet that comes in a variety of colors. I ended up going with midnight blue because... It, it's all stylish. I've been using this blue aluminium card holder for the better part of a month now, and I have to say I've really enjoyed it. It's all slim and lightweight, so it doesn't take up much space in your pocket, and because it's all space-grade aluminium, it means it can take a real beating. In fact, I dropped it the moment that I first took it out of the packaging, just straight onto a hardwood floor, and it was fine. I've dropped it a bunch of times since, and it's, it's just handled it like a champ. You can also get this aluminium card holder with the this solar power tracker so that you never lose your wallet again and can easily track it with your phone. That means with its lightweight, durable construction, RFID blockerness, tracker, and just general versatility, this is a great wallet option. If you want to get one of these, check out the affiliate discount link in the description below. Thank you, Exer, for sponsoring this video. For those of you that missed the initial video, basically the problem is the fact that this system crashes more than an Adobe product. And because of that, people just return the system, despite the fact that the problem is caused by a pretty minor issue, even more minor than I initially identified in the previous video. Now in that video, after getting a bunch of blue screens of death with error codes relating to storage issues, I swapped out the SSD with a fresh install of Windows on it, and lo and behold, it stopped blue screening. However, after I posted that video pointing out that problem, a bunch of people said that it could actually just be due to a corrupt Windows image that they used to install Windows on the system in the factory. So I put the Adata SSD back in the MSI system, reinstalled Windows on it, and lo and behold, after spending two days of gaming, testing, and IDA 64-ing on it, it didn't crash once, which is a lot better than the stock configuration. So if you have one of these systems, all I would do is reinstall Windows and see if that fixes the problem. Because honestly, I would recommend reinstalling Windows on any pre-built you buy anyway, because you never know what savagery lies in the depths of a pre-built factory Windows install. I don't really know what MSI was doing with that Windows install, but that seems to be the stability issue that we had with this system. If you want more information on how to actually reinstall Windows on a system, I'll have a video linked in the description below that'll run you through the process. And then finally, we're just gonna have a look at an upgrade that you 100% have to do to the system if you own one of them, because honestly, the out-of-the-box gaming performance was surprisingly bad considering the hardware configuration. And the reason for that is the RAM configuration. This system comes with a single 8 gig stick of RAM. And as we all know, single channel is bad, okay? But it goes beyond that because just 8 gigs of RAM isn't really enough for high performance gaming these days anymore. So yeah, even if you don't have this system and you just have 8 gigs of RAM in your PC, I would recommend upgrading it to 16 gigs because RAM is like the only affordable upgrade these days. So yeah, that's, that's definitely something you should look into doing. So with that, let's have a look at the tests comparing a single 8 gig stick to two 8 gig sticks.
Wow, that is a gargantuan performance difference between those two configurations. In some of the situations, we were almost getting double the performance, which is pretty crazy. In my opinion, what's even more important than the improvements in average frames per second is the improvements in the 1% lows, because that is what makes the gaming experience feel a lot smoother. The gaming experience with 16 gigs of RAM in this system is miles better than it was with the single 8 gig stick. Now the reason for this is because 8 gigs just isn't enough. You can see here that with the 16 gig configuration, most of the games were using more than 8 gigs of RAM. And when a system runs into a RAM capacity bottleneck, it takes a knife to the groin of the system's gaming performance. Just a quick note on RAM compatibility, because that's actually one of the big advantages that this MSI pre-built has with its non-proprietary motherboard design over something from a company like Dell, HP, or Acer, or whatever. The motherboard in this system can actually use XMP profiles for RAM speeds, which means you can use a much bigger variety of RAM kits and then manually set their speed to the max that this motherboard allows, which is 2666 MHz, and that's due to chipset limitations with Intel boards and stuff but that's way better than like a Dell system that'll just run it at the base frequency if the RAM doesn't have a JDC profile enabled or whatever. I tested three kits from three different manufacturers and all of them worked without a hitch so yeah that's good that, that helps a lot. And with that, it brings me to the end of a video that's surprisingly jam-packed with consumer advice. I'm actually very impressed with myself there. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And until the next video, bye-bye.